car of the future took flight today. The X2 flying car. There it is. Took off in an unmanned test flight in Dubai. A car with no wheels, no driver, no sound. It rose from the earth like a thought too heavy to stay grounded. In the skies above Dubai, something impossible became real. Not in a lab, not in a simulation, but before the eyes of a watching world. This wasn't science fiction anymore. This was a light made personal. Private, electric, silent. It didn't roar, it whispered. And in that whisper was a promise that the way we move, the way we live, is about to change. Not someday, not soon, now. The future took off. And for the first time, we didn't chase it. We rode it. The flight that changed everything. A car with no wheels, no driver, no sound. It lifted into the air like it had always belonged there. Like gravity had finally been permitted to let go. It was morning in Dubai. The sky was clear. The kind of stillness that only arrives just before something historic happens. The X2 didn't roar. It didn't announce itself with smoke or fire. It rose slowly, calmly. A gentle vertical motion that looked more like breathing than machinery. And yet, it was a machine. One that changed everything. People had gathered around the launch site at Skydive Dubai. Officials, engineers, press, and a handful of watchers who weren't quite sure what they were about to witness. Some expected noise. Some expected failure. What they got was silence, a end awe. It hovered. That's the word. Hovered. Not like a helicopter, shaking the air into submission. But like a thought becoming real. Like something we had all imagined, but never touched, was now just there. In front of us. Above us. No wheels. No tracks. No exhaust, just clean lift, powered by electric rotors and controlled by intelligence built deep into its frame. It floated above the earth for minutes, almost as if showing restraint. No stunts, no speed, just presence. And when it descended, when it came back to the ground, it did so with grace, controlled, measured, human. For a moment, no one moved. The crowd stared, suspended in the kind of silence that only follows something deeply unexpected. Then came the applause. Then came the realization. This wasn't science fiction anymore. What took off in Dubai wasn't just a vehicle. It was an idea made real. The idea that maybe the way we move through cities doesn't have to be limited to streets and tires. That maybe the sky is no longer reserved for planes and pilots. The X-2 didn't just fly. It shifted something inside the people who watched it. A quiet rewiring of expectation. A whisper that said, this is possible. This is now. And as it touched the earth again, it left something behind in the air. Not smoke, not noise, but belief. Belief that the future doesn't always crash through the door. Sometimes it rises gently into view and waits for us to notice. What is the X2 and why does it matter? The X2 doesn't look like a car, at least not in the way we've always imagined them. It has no wheels, no steering wheel, and no exhaust pipe. No space for fuel, no dashboard of buttons and dials. What it has is presence, purpose, a shape molded by air, not asphalt. Built by Xpeng Aero HT, the aviation arm of Chinese EV giant Xpeng Motors. The X2 is the company's fifth generation electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, or EVTOL. That acronym might sound like jargon, but it holds weight. It means this thing isn't a plane, it isn't a helicopter, 
And it certainly isn't just a drone scaled up for people. It's something else, something new. The specs are quiet, but powerful. The X2 can carry two passengers. It reaches a top speed of 130 kilometers per hour and can stay in the air for up to 35 minutes on a single charge. It doesn't just fly, it thinks. The X2 is autonomous, no pilot required. It calculates, navigates, adapts. It avoids obstacles, plans its descent, finds its landing pad. You don't fly it, you trust it. Its body is made of premium carbon fiber, light, strong, and sculpted to resist the wind. Its doors open like the future always promised they would. The cockpit is sleek, more spaceship than car. It's fitted with an emergency parachute system built into the airframe itself. A backup, not a gimmick. But the most remarkable thing about the X2, it produces zero emissions. No carbon, no smoke, just flight. It was built for cities, for low altitude, short range trips, quick, quiet escapes from the congestion below. And it was designed with intention, not just to be a technical showcase, but a bridge between what we know and what we now know is possible. The X2 isn't about going faster. It's about going above. It's not about owning the sky. It's about borrowing it gracefully, carefully, just long enough to get from one life to another. And yes, others have tried to build flying cars. Many have claimed it. Few have lifted off. Even fewer have flown with people on board, in public, in real cities. But the X2 did, in Dubai, in daylight, in front of everyone. It didn't just show us what it could do. It showed us what we could believe in again. A machine that moves through the sky the way we were always meant to. Quietly, cleanly, together. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. From China to the skies of Dubai. Before it ever touched the skies over Dubai, the X-2 had already flown many times. Over 15,000 test flights had been conducted in China, in remote areas, under controlled conditions, quiet, careful, consistent, but always behind closed doors always just out of reach of public imagination. Dubai changed that. This was the first time the X-2 would fly outside of China. The first time it would lift off before a global audience. And it wasn't just a technological test. It was a statement. Dubai was chosen for a reason. It's a city that embraces the future not as a theory, but as a plan. Its skyline is filled with ambition. Its streets are already shaped by innovation. And more importantly, its leadership is unafraid to take bold steps. They don't just ask what's next, they build it. The Dubai Chamber of Commerce didn't just observe this flight. They guided it, supported it, helped Xping Aero HT navigate the legal and logistical framework that allowed this moment to happen. The skies weren't opened by luck. They were opened by intent. On the ground at Skydive Dubai, over 150 people watched as the X-2 lifted into the air. Among them were engineers, officials, skeptics, and believers, all standing together, all looking up. And as the X-2 hovered above the sand and steel of one of the world's most advanced cities, it carried something more than just weight. It carried trust, trust between nations, between industries, between imagination and reality. And in that quiet flight, Dubai became the place where the future stopped being a secret and started being shared, the human dream of flight. Long before Dubai, long before electricity or carbon fiber, we looked up. Birds, clouds, stars, these were not just elements of the sky. They were invitations, quiet ones, persistent, 
calling us towards something higher, something free. The dream of flight is old, older than writing, older than war. In sketches and scrolls, in stories passed by firelight, humans imagined wings on their backs, wheels in the air, floating cities in the clouds. It was never about speed. It was about escape, about wonder, about the possibility. Da Vinci drew machines with flapping wings and called them flying men. Icarus flew too close to the sun. The Wright brothers, on a quiet morning in North Carolina, proved it wasn't madness after all. And now the X2 continues that line. It doesn't look like their dreams, but it feels the same. A machine not of war, not of conquest, but of peace, of silence, of upward motion. Not for kings, not for generals, but for anyone. Flying cars are not just about going somewhere. They're about becoming something. They're about rising above the noise, the traffic, the weight of the everyday, not in fantasy, not someday, but now. Every city that lets one rise tells its people, yes, we believe. Every test flight says, yes, we still dream. The sky was never the limit. It was just waiting. And maybe, so were we. What comes next? The sixth generation. The X2 was never the final step. It was a beginning, a quiet opening to something even more ambitious. Xpeng's next creation, the sixth generation flying car, isn't just meant to fly. It's meant to drive, and it's coming soon. This new model, still under wraps, but already stirring anticipation, is expected to launch in 2024. Unlike the X2, it will have wheels. A true hybrid, a car that rolls onto the street, navigates city corners, parks in a garage, and then unfolds. Wings extend, rotors lift, and the street becomes a runway for the sky. It's built to transition in moments, one world to another, ground to air, routine to wonder. It folds its wings like a bird at rest, waiting for the moment it's needed, not just to move, but to rise. Xpeng has stated it will cost under 1 million renminbi, about $156 or $600. For now, that price keeps it in the realm of the curious few, but not forever. Technology scales, costs fall, and what is rare today becomes expected tomorrow. Dubai's successful demonstration is only the beginning. More tests are planned, more approvals, more sky. The future will not arrive in a single machine. It will arrive in thousands. Quiet, clean, hovering just above the city. We won't even notice the shift when it happens. The sky will just feel busier, closer, more alive. The sixth generation won't just be a marvel of engineering. It will be a turning point in how we see cities, cars, and ourselves. A future where we don't ask if we can fly. But where do we go next? No thunder, no headlines screaming in red. Just a car, lifting quietly into the morning air. That's how the future arrives. Not with a bang, but with belief. One flight, one city, one moment when the sky stopped being a metaphor and started being a destination. The X2 is more than a machine. It's a whisper of what's to come, a slow revolution rising above traffic lights and tired routines. So look up, not out of fear, but out of hope, because somewhere above us, the world is already changing. And maybe the next time you travel, you won't need a road at all.